Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to cover the various listing options that are available within SellerChamp specifically to creating eBay listings. I'm going to cover the following points. How to automatically populate your product information such as title, description, item specifics, product images and more. How to use eBay templates so that you can, for information that does not vary from one listing to another, how you can store that inside eBay templates so that you can save time and give your fingers a break. How you can use our mobile app to quickly take photos and how you can use the browse similar feature to find existing listings that are already on eBay and copy that information inside of SellerChamp for your listings. All right, pretty exciting session. I'm pretty excited. Um, so let's get started. And then once you go ahead and log in, make sure you're on the right eBay account. Once you do that, click on batches. Oops, click on batches, create a new batch, give it a name. By default, it's today's date. Pick a template. I talk more about templates in a separate video, but real quick here, templates allow you to control the look and feel of your eBay listing. So where the picture are, where the description is, the color scheme, you know, all of that really gives you a, a, the ability to create a nice professional looking listing. In addition to that, con you can also store common settings, com uh, information that does not vary from one listing to another. All of those things you can store that inside the template so that you don't have to re-specify that or you know uh, or retype all that information in. So pick the right template here. Um, the rest of it I'm going to skip because I've actually covered this in a previous video where I just talk about uh, how to create listings. Because this is specific to eBay, I'm going only going to go over those parts that are specific to eBay. Go and click Add Batch here. Now, inside here you can go ahead and scan an ASIN, a UPC code or uh, even an eBay item ID. So let's go ahead and um, uh, start with the ASIN. So I have an ASIN saved here. I'm gonna copy it and paste it, click enter. Now in this case, I have locations as required. So that's why it's asking me to put item location of where this item is going to be in my warehouse. So let me go ahead and type that in. Let's say bin one and then put in an ASIN. And my item is here. So as you can see, it's pulled up a lot of different information for me. Uh, it's got all the pictures, multiple pictures pulled up. It's got the I, uh, title, it's got the UPC code, um, you know, where uh, the location that I put in. Um, it's also got some prices here. So, you know, $19 is how much this item is being sold for in new condition, 1805 in like new condition and so forth. Also, if I click on eBay fees, it's going to calculate my eBay fees. So for this one, I'm going to pay $1.90 if I sell this item. And then if I click on net profit, it's going to tell me what my net profit is. In this case, $17.10. Now, I haven't added my cost price. So if I give it my cost price, it's going to refresh my net profit as well. If I click the edit button here off to the right, you'll see it's pulled up a lot of details. Uh, multiple UPC codes that match uh, this listing. Um, the category, it's already got the right category selected for you. The description, right? Uh, any features, in this case there are no features for this one. The product dimensions. And really nice is the item specifics. The brand, color, um, you know, the features, uh, the MPN, the type of headset. And all of these item specifics are automatically pulled over from Amazon and populated within my listing, which is really nice. Saves me a ton of time. Okay. Um, and if I go into my shipping details, you see all my shipping details are automatically populated. How did this happen? Handling time two days. How did all of this happen? This happened because I have a template where I've specified all of these common settings, my handling time, my shipping settings, where I'm shipping this item, all of that is inside my template and it just, it just automatically pulls over into this listing saves me a ton of time as well okay that's how we do it by uh, UPC or Amazon ASIN now I also show you another nice thing which is you can also pull items by eBay item ID so if I go into um, an eBay listing let's do that that I have pulled up and let, I'd like to sell this uh, on uh, on my uh, you know on my eBay account so what I can do is I can pull up that eBay listing then go to the address bar on top and after this uh, ITM slash, the number that follows is the eBay item ID. So I can copy that, go back into my um, seller champ and scan that in and then select the eBay item ID as the as a selection and press enter. 
And this will actually go out to eBay and fetch all that listing for you with all of the details. So if I click here, all of the photos have been pulled up from that eBay listing. And if I click edit, all of the details and the features have been pulled up for that eBay listing. And then now you can go in and make changes to this listing as you need to. Um, all of the item specifics that are there have also been pulled over. So this is a really nice feature where if you've already got an eBay listing that someone else is selling that matches your listing that you just want to reuse, you can just type in that eBay item ID and pull back all that information inside SellerChamp. In addition to this, another nice feature that you're going to like is the browse similar items. The way that works is I can go in here to an options, click the options button for an item and then go into browse similar items. This is actually going to search eBay for other listings that are being sold uh, on eBay that match this title. Okay. So for instance, here's one. If I scroll down, I, I'll see several more. So I can really take this one and I can say, you know what? Okay. I like this listing. I'm going to import some of the data that it's got. And I can say, I want to import everything and that's going to copy everything over. Right? Like all, all item specifics, that's going to copy everything. Or I can decide which, you know, just which feeds I want to copy over. For instance, um, I don't like the title. I want to stick with that title. I like the, I do like the title, so I'm going to take the title, but I don't like the description. Uh, so I'll speak, stick with that, stick with my description. And then I can say import selected. Now this has basically copied these attributes into my listing. So now if we actually close this, and if we see the title has changed to the, the title that's on eBay. So this is also a really nice feature where you can browse existing listings and take their attributes and import it into your own listing. That's another nice thing. Another cool feature that we have are the photos. Now, um, copyright photos, copyright infringement is, is become a big topic um, because when you're using stock photos to sell items on eBay, manufacturers and brand owners may come back and hit you with copyright infringement saying, hey, this stock photo is uh, belongs to us and you cannot use it um, for your listings. So this, there's two solutions to that, where there's really three solutions. Um, first solution is you can just take your own photos using a camera and upload it into SellerChamp. It's the slowest solution. The other solution is you can click on import images and again, import an image by URL. So if you know of a good image that you want to use, you can just put in the URL and click import and it will get imported here or what we just did. You can search by eBay item ID. So if I search by eBay item ID and click import, it's going to import the photos from eBay as you can see. And now I can just remove the stock photos and go with these photos which are not stock photos. Okay. This is also a really nice solution where you just uh, type in the eBay item ID and import the pictures from eBay. Because these pictures are already in, on eBay and they're non-stock photos, you can safely import them without running into copyright infringement. The, the third option is browse the web. What browse the web does is it searches the internet for this item and all of the, all of the images that are available on, on the internet by the item ID. So you type in the name of the item ID, you click search and here you can see there's all the images, both stock images and non-stock images. And then I can just pick the ones that I actually, I like, like, for example, I like this one. I'm going to click this. I like this one. I'm going to click this and then click save images. Okay. And, and that way, that's another way to quickly, um, pick, uh, you know, pick non-stock images by just searching the internet using browse the web. Okay. All of these are really good options for avoiding copyright infringement. In addition to this, there's one really exciting feature, which is using your mobile app to take your own photos. So let's go into that. So here I've got these Sony headphones uh, pulled up and, um, you know, I'm selling these headphones. Now I don't want to use their um, stock photos. So I want to take my own photos using my, uh, using my uh, iPhone app, Sellerchamp iPhone app. So I'm going to click remove all to get rid of these pictures and then, okay. So what I'm going to do next is pull up my SellerChamp app on my mobile phone. There it is. I'm going to go into the right marketplace, which is in this case, these HQ. I'm going to go into the manifest, um, for which I mean the batch for which I need to take photos. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit this button, take photo, go to my headphones and take a nice photo. All right. Use photo accept and the photo has been uploaded okay 
So that's it. And now I, I can just go back and scan the next item. It will show up here on the screen. As soon as I click this button, I'll switch, see that item and I can, t I can take another photo and, um, and upload it. That's how quick and easy it is to take photos with your mobile app and have it directly upload to your listings. All right, well, we covered a lot of different things in this video. We covered how to auto-populate your items just by scanning a UPC code and ASIN, how to look up items by eBay item ID, how to use a browse similar feature to find items on eBay, how to import that data into your seller chap listing, how to use the photos features, the three different photo options where you can either upload photos, search for them by URL or by eBay item ID, search for them on the internet and import them, we also looked at how you can use templates to reuse information that's going to be the same across your listings and how you can use templates to control your look and feel of your listings. We also covered how you can use the mobile app to take your own photos. A lot of good information. I hope this was really helpful for you and I hope this gives you the tools that you need to create professional looking listings within minutes. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Send us a chat message, schedule a help session, and we'd be more than happy to help you out. If you like this video and want to, more, want to watch more such videos, click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and stay up to date. Thanks. Have an amazing day.